And you're welcome back. Boundaries and extremes. Let's take a look at the Kunle Afolayan instance that might never go away. We scarred her daughter for life is what most people say. <laughs> but did we really? Or was it all by his hand? I was going to make a joke about that one, but... Yeah, uh, nah, it's not going to sink Let's not do it. Let's not nah. do it. In any case, everybody saw the video. You saw the video. Yes. Um, Kunle Afolayan had a, a, a session with his daughter where they, well, danced what would... What would could have been referred to as a very amorous, very father-daughterly type moment yeah. that, hey, it's quite reminiscent of that Luther Vandross song, Dance yeah. With My Father. It looks cute. It looks beautiful. Yeah. Except that it went on for quite a while. Eventually, I kind of like got uncomfortable. I did not get uncomfortable because I had intrusive, crazy thoughts. It just mm. seemed a bit, okay, nah, daddy is enough. <laughs> you know, kind of <laughs> thing. Is Until everybody else started talking about it and, you know, writing yeah. in the comment section and um, it became rather obvious that the majority of people were not with that kind of uh, uh, expression or activity that mm, went on. Yeah. He danced very close with his daughter. However, he was wearing an agbada, a very short agbada, the, not to the conservative type. And his daughter was really enjoying... He dashiki? Yeah, yeah dashiki type of agbada. Uh, and they had this moment together that seems to have gone viral because people thought it was a bit too... Un it was a bit untoward well, for a father to dance with a daughter that way. It's also raised a lot of other instances where I think, was it, uh, uh, what's her name from uh, the news channel? Uh, made a reference, and we're going to talk about that reference, and maybe, 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 maybe it comes to a defense on that one. However, what did you think about that moment? Well, um, I try as much as possible not to talk about um, people's relationship, especially when it comes to family relationships and mm -hmm. what have you, right? Yeah. And the reason why that is is because um, you must understand that people's relationships are personal. Mm -hmm. All right, you don't know what is going on between father and daughter. All right, the way they play to you, all right, is totally different from the way they play with themselves, mm -hmm. you of know, course, yeah. in private. All right, Kulin Afalani is someone I personally, I don't know him personally, but I personally respect with all, with, with, with all, every sense of it. I respect him in his work, in his, in his career, in everything that he does. Now, there are different things that we can look at when it comes to that video. It's unfortunate because Nigerians are very, you know, judgy people. They're mm. people who are very quick to say one thing about... Well, we know. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are, they're very judgmental. I must say the truth. And I'll tell you why. You know, this was, you know, this caused a very serious argument between myself and my wife. And I kept telling her, I said, let me tell you something. Because she's my best friend. Allah. She's my best friend. We, we just a lot. <laughs> and we talk about issues, all right? And we have very different opinions mm. about issues. And, you know, of course, we learn from it as well. Did, did you personally think... I watched that video very well. And? Look, let me tell you something. You people might say, you might, you might say that this person... Is inappropriate in the way that he was holding this person or this the way she touched that. Don't forget that these people work together. Mm. They were on they were on you know the movie premiere which that day, now? which was yes the the Anikolakpo uh, uh -huh. uh, the Anikolakpo uh, 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 series premiere mm -hmm. premiere. Mm -hmm. This guy was excited, was happy. The daughter was happy as well that they had done something successfully. Yeah. All right. They could have just been dancing innocently. Okay. Now, so, let me, another okay. thing you must also yeah. understand is that maybe they didn't even know that somebody was involved. Oh, no, they were aware. Okay. Because they were, they were aware. her brother, Wait. her brother was actually, you know, her brother came to Doesn't it make it even worse if they didn't think that there. anybody was, 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 was making a video? Okay. Doesn't it make it worse? No, no that's but, what but I'm let, saying. Let me just, let me just, let me just, let me just, let me Let me jump in here and I'm going to re reference this, I'm mm. going to refer this to you, Alamde. Yeah. First off, it was a moment that was an expression between a father and a daughter. Mm -hmm. You say that, hey, there was nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. However, is there a thought to be given to where we are and whether this activity is safe for public consumption? Now, I'm not saying that if there was anything untoward going on mm. that, you know, I'm not trying to excuse it. Okay. But I'm saying, okay, regarding how woke our society is or whether that culture that we have, yes. that, yeah, me and you relate like this, so we're father and daughter and there's nothing happening. But... Okay. Um, <laughs> the environment okay. we're in, maybe we don't need to express ourselves. Okay, so I'm glad you said something. I'm glad you said something. Glad, I'm glad you said something. So, so sorry, well, just yeah. before you say something, you said something. You talked about the fact that at the beginning when you were watching that stuff, mm -hmm. you didn't think anything of it. It was just a great moment because I All had right. a daughter as well. All right. Mm -hmm. And then when it took 
too long. Yes. You started to feel uncomfortable. Exactly. Why are you feeling uncomfortable? Because, well, I noted that he's doing my job again. <laughs> I, noted, <laughs> I noted that the environment would not be uh, very forgiving for that kind of expression. Okay, like, so oh, for me, yeah, that's yeah, nothing let's, let's to do with the environment. Mm -hmm. I, I think I, I try to be as open as possible, but I'm not going to speak on standards. I'm not going to speak on expectations. I'm just going to go into the facts. Mm. I'm a father. Uh, exactly. I was going I'm to say that I don't have a daughter. You guys I'm have a, a daughter. Maybe you're I have a daughter. Saying it from that perspective. I have a daughter. Well. And when I, when I first saw the video, I think I was amongst one of the last set of people to see the video. When, you know, uh, people were talking about it, I was like, ah, oh, nah, it can't be that. Uh -huh. Then I saw the video and I was like, uh, okay, is that really his daughter? I was surprised. And reason being that, mm -hmm. um, Kulia Folayo, uh, respectable, hardworking, mm -hmm. very talented man. Yes, he had a moment of excitement. Mm. And, you know, the boats, you know, they were having fun, basically. And I still see that part as having fun. Mm. But as a father, I feel that in the world, whether you're a Westerner or you're an African, right. there are certain expressions that you don't put out publicly. Yeah. Okay. Publicly. And... The three of us mm -hmm. can be witness to this. I don't think in my entire life mm -hmm. I've heard my father or my mother say, I love you. No, to you. Yeah. Yes, no, no, no. I, don't, I don't think so. Oh, and, and if they have, very, that would have been me when I was very little. Yeah, exactly. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. So, you see. That's the beautiful certain, part of that video, actually. Because yeah. I can tell that these two. This is do, genuine. This is a very genuine you, relationship. Oh, was, was, oh, was there. Was no, there no, one, no, 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 no. I'm saying that. The, the it was genuine. Was, the expression was yo, genuine. Right. As a father, or, you'd see it. But we, we can't take away the fact that at a particular point in time, the dancing got a bit too extra. Mm -hmm. It got to a bit too extra. The old in, the fact that she was backing into him, mm -hmm. the fact that he was going into. Mm -hmm. It into got a, a bit extra. And it's a good thing that we're all from different tribes, you understand? Mm -hmm. And we, we all have different notions about, you know, family Opinions and all of that. Rather, yeah. You see, I feel, I feel, okay. um, as a father, you're a father. You can be friends with your child, mm. but there are times whereby you're a father, especially publicly. Yeah, can I you're mention, can I, can I put this in? Yeah, let, let me just quickly, okay. let me just quickly, I have a young daughter that, um, Recently, she, she came to me and she said, oh, Dad, can I give you a, can I give you a peck? And I'm like, uh, no. And you know why I said that? Why? Not because I didn't appreciate it and not because, you know, I didn't think it was okay. Mm. I said no because I saw it that it was from an influence. Mm. Maybe something she's been watching, okay. something she's been okay. seeing. She wanted to express herself. And you see, morally or no morals, you need to always set certain rules and boundaries. So I was going to so say that, yeah. that. I was going to ask what responsibility did the father have, especially when it comes to setting an example for his daughter exactly. in that kind of an environment as regards other men and their expressions and, and toward her And, and that's what I'm, I was going to go towards because I, I need to set an example. Mm -hmm. that, okay, you know what? And you see, for everything, there comes a conversation. And I explained to her, this is why I don't want you to do this. Mm -hmm. And this is why I love you. Mm. But this is not the best way for you to express yourself. Because first Real quick, first, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Catherine Obiang yeah. on TV made a reference to the video. Yeah. And then she, to she told her own story. Very short. was actually in passing where she talked about hugging her father in the morning. Uh, and um, oh, noting, yeah. noting an erection and saying to herself, okay, this is where play has to stop now. Yeah. Um, you know Twitter and s yeah, social media. They took it like this. Woo! <laughs> they went this way, um, but we were having our conversation in yeah. the morning. Yes, we and what were. was the what, what was the submission you gave them? I, I mean, it's it's simple. The average LD man out of ten men, nine and a half, wake up with an erection. Do you wake up with an erection? You don't wake up. With, ah, this was not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> not no, but, but my point is, my point is this. It's I'm not saying that's the medical standards. Mm -hmm. but, no, but you the, are correct. The, but the fact, the fact is, is that, that every healthy man has uh, every 90, sec 90 minutes an erection while sleeping. You actually so, do. And so, very often you will wake up with one if it's within that 90 minutes. And, and the, yeah, the, the thing is this. If a child comes into org um, at, I mean, that a father moment, at that moment, 
that then unfortunate you, moment. You and that's where the boundaries come in. Mm -hmm. That's how the boundaries come in. Like, for instance, in my home, before you come into my room, you knock and you mm -hmm. wait for me to say, come, come in. in. That's correct. See, you need to set those rules. Mm -hmm. And in that video, I realized that there are no boundaries. Because when I first saw the video, I was like, ah, nah, I'll go side chick with this. Mm. Because it was depicting Why did you something. think that is side chick, sir? Because it felt sensual. Very sensual. Almost yeah. sexual. So, so at the beginning, yes, they're having fun. But when they kept at it, yeah. and you know, all the pulling, all the, Sorry, I'm like, okay, uh, can I say something? Yes, please. please. Go ahead. So yeah. when I, you know, when I saw the video, yeah. all right, I watched the video very closely, right? And the first thing I did was I went to the page of the girl mm -hmm. to see the relationship between herself and her father. And I realized that this girl has been close with her dad for years. I remember that we said it's a very beautiful, it was yes, a very beautiful thing in the I beginning, agree. yeah? I agree. Yeah. All right. So I realized that when I saw all of the things that she had done with her dad, you know, they've been, they're, they're like Ooh. buddies. Like they literally, you know, they, they hang out together, go mm -hmm. beach partying together. They are together all, all the time. She's her father's friend. And then I, do you understand? And yeah. I went back to that video and watched it again. So with that knowledge in my mm -hmm. head, that so it looked all right. It, I see it, what you did there. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, you, you, you uh, did the litmus test first and then came back. Do you understand what I'm saying? And so then I came back and realized so that it was an deck, innocent, deck, moment. Deck, innocent deck, moment. The problem is not the intentions here. Yeah. We're saying the that the problem is in the view, the view, the that's people, the environment. What it no, like. no one is, no one is accusing, is okay? no one is accusing him and his daughter of mm. doing anything. Let's mm -hmm. clarify that it's none of our business. We do not know this. Yeah. But what we're saying is what we saw. Was it appropriate? The video put out. It wasn't appropriate. Mm -hmm. And why is it appropriate? Even the so-called Oyibo people that are freestyle or whatever, yeah. they don't. They would not do stuff like that because they even have rules. Yeah. They have certain rules that protect their children the from children. things like that. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. If you're getting too extra, you, you're, you're doing things. When did you things. stop kissing your daughter? When did I stop kissing my daughter? Mm -hmm. Stop many years ago. How, how, how old, how old, is, how old she is she now? now? She's going to be nine. Mm. So you and stop what? Kissing. I stopped doing that. Mm, okay. I, I still kiss that. my daughter on the cheek. On the cheek. No, no. And you know what? Yeah. So, uh, the last time I kissed my daughter was on the forehead. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I have these conversations because children keep growing and they keep learning and keep mm -hmm. pulling things and keep getting. But you do know that and, and they, all of that. I, I mean, I anchor weddings, all right, yeah. and I see fathers kiss their grown-up daughter getting married. Like they, they peck them. You know, mm -hmm. on yeah. the forehead, yeah. peck them. Yeah, well, the that's allowed. Do you understand what I'm Absolutely. saying? Yeah. So one thing you must understand is that the way you've been doing, you've been doing this, your children, you've been doing this for daughter. many years. And if you want to be honest, yes. have you ever seen a father dance with, dance a daughter, with a daughter, that daughter at the wedding that way? Of course not. Exactly. exactly. Of course not. Exactly. But I'm just saying to you that it doesn't mean that. It's so weird that nobody dance that way.